Awesome. I'm going to say like 12 words, roughly. Roughly? You don't have a lot to say? No. Oh, well. I never do. I don't Go know figure. Any, I don't know How does it look? Movies. What is that? What is that? An equity? I didn't How did hear. How did he get that on his back? Get the Maybe fuck I out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, get out of here. Okay. No special features. Uh, uh, okay. ah! You could have hit me with square in the jaw. It's <laughs> coins. Why are you so? Well, I put my coins in there too. I put my change in there. I mean, I don't usually do it. You're changeless. You'll never change. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Damien. I'm Kyle. And I'm Alex. We are Our Mind Center. We make short films and we review movies. And tonight, finally, a movie that we and, and, we and the public have definitely been waiting for. Rather than seeing these movies that were like, yeah, there's a movie, so we're going to go see it. This is one, whether we review movies or not, we were going to see it as comic book fans and as movie fans in general. And this is a blockbuster for sure. And it is definitely on track already to break some records and make shit ton of money. Black Panther. Alex. What's this movie about? So in Civil War, Black Panther. Oh, I can't even. I Tachanka, Tachanka, T'Challa, T'Challa is Black Panther. Is Black Panther, and then his father, Tachanka, Tachanka. He made a joke about it. Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. Anyways, so his dad dies in Civil War, which we've all seen, and in this one, he has to take upon the duties of said kingship. And a lot of stuff goes down. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of stuff, like, revolving around this movie that's hard not to talk about. And it's also kind of, like, just evident. Yeah. So we might just, might just get that out of the way while also not talking too much about it. And it's that this movie is very culturally relevant right now. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is huge for that, which is why I think this movie is going to make a lot of money. And why people are liking it as much as they are. And it, it definitely is going to hold a place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for doing some very good storytelling around a very political thesis. Yeah. Does a very damn good job at that. And we will leave it there and leave the rest of it for you to interpret because we are definitely not the, the voice of the people in any way possible. Straight white man I know the road looks tough ahead This, it's, it's, it's so cool. This, this is just a Marvel movie that that comes out while also not just being another Marvel movie. I don't. I wouldn't put this yeah. in the in the realm of like, well, it's another Thor or like, well, well can't say that because Thor Ragnarok is the shit. But what's what's not an okay one? Not an okay one. So, well, Thor two is not good. Ant Man. I think is subpar. Yeah. And I mean, it's all right, but as far as comedy goes, Thor has it beat. As yeah. far as like action yeah. goes. Every other Which, Marvel movie. That, I think that's a be way better way to start this review. And it makes a lot more sense. Is comparing this to the other ones because... Don't tell me I can't compare Marvel movies. Uh, it's, an, it's an argument that you can have someone to compare other movies like in general. But these are Marvel movies. These are all made by committee. These are all five mm -hmm. dudes sitting in chairs going, This is what's going to happen in these movies so this other movie can happen. We can compare these movies. And I think on the grand scheme, as far as cool shit that happens... And as far as, like, originality and costuming and colors and set and, like, location, yeah. this movie's up there. I was going to say. It really is up there. Location-wise, this place <clears throat> did phenomenally. Like, yeah. Uh, in, in this Waka Wakanda, the place that they're from, mm -hmm. they have this mixture of futuristic technology but staying attached to oh, your roots. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's this really cool mix of, like, African-themed buildings. Yeah. But they're skyscrapers. Yeah. And it's, it's or they really have awesome. like these spears that can shoot like pulses, but yeah. they're wearing like the neck rings, and they have the tattoos. And it's, it's really cool yeah. to see the way that they mm -hmm. just made a whole new world. They did out of what it. Uh, they did with technology. What Kings of the Golden Circle failed to do. Failed to do. Yeah, oh, like yeah. they just did it way over the top. <laughs> Remember the? Why do we keep referencing that movie? We need to let it die. No, we can't because <laughs> yes. we need to let everybody know how bad that movie is. <laughs> I fucking hate Kingsman: and The Golden Circle. This movie could have been like the. The like detective, like Marvel movie. You know what I'm saying? And they they give us that a little bit. And I, sure, that might not have been the point of this movie, but I almost liked that a lot more than just the in-your-face like action stuff. Like that scene when he goes to Tokyo, which you've seen in the trailer, the car shot when he flips or whatever. It's dope when him and his team of like African oh, warriors are like sneaking around yeah. and they're talking in their mics. 
It's cool. Yeah. It's like watching. I made a joke at the end of, like, to Alex, like, is this like a James Bond movie? But that scene, I was like, there was more this than one like a, reason to reference well, that. Though, yeah, you know. <laughs> but still, this this is like the James Bond superhero movie of the Marvel universe. I'll give I, you that. I just wish there was more of that because at the end, yeah. say what you will about most movies in general, but I feel like this movie falls into the. Like, the, yeah, there's a boss fight at the end with a villain. And, yeah. and the luxury of this movie, though, even though that is definitely a critique and a negative of mine, that the end of this movie kind of just turns into a Marvel movie at the end with all the characters fighting and they're teaming up and they all have new powers that you didn't see before or, like, new weapons that you didn't see before. But the main villain in this movie, Michael B. Jordan, is damn near perfect in this movie, yeah. I would say. He is, he is very cool. Mm -hmm. And he is like a fish out of water more than the technology or anything. Yeah. He's like talking with like a... Just an no, American that, accent. That's, that was one of the really cool things that they did. Is like he's coming from a, like American version of what like Africans have turned into. Yeah. And then you see like African tribal people. And so they have these thick accents. <laughs> and then he comes and he's like, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, there's like a, a very good like, comedic moment where, you know, they're all, like, talking, like, your highness yeah. and stuff like that, and he says, like, your highness, and he goes, what's up? Like, it's just, it's cool. It's so not cheesy or anything like that. It's just cool, because uh -huh. it's like, is the movie making fun of the fact that you might be taking their aspect of it way too seriously, or is it just like, no, this guy's from yeah. the U.S. It's just He's gonna talk to like a dude about. in 2018. With all these people yeah. that are like your highness and like my king and like but bowing. And that's also like one of my favorite parts of the movie is like <clears throat> the tribal as aspect, mm -hmm. like the chants and stuff. Like when they're when they're chanting, it just oh it yeah, so yeah. Cool. it's. <laughs> uh, I'll bring that kind of back to the music in this. <clears throat> I mean, I think the music was really great, and I loved hearing the like the tribal oh, music like coming all the time. Like the there's like one of the first times that you see Wakanda. There's like this. It just sounds like a dude was just going ham on some bongos, yeah. and then it just stops, and they start to it, like the whole thing is just awesome. But mm -hmm. the sound mixing on parts of it, I do not think we're good. Ooh. Like in one of the action scenes, uh, I the one in Tokyo where they're like not Tokyo, it's like Korea or something. Korea, yeah. they're on the cars. Like there's music that comes in, like a Kendrick oh, Lamar song okay. comes in, okay. and it's like good, undertone. Good. Yeah, that's a but good, then yeah. they don't bring it in for the action yeah. to happen. It just stays undertone. And then the things that shouldn't be taking over, like gunshots, are like the only thing I can hear. Yeah. 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 I, so I think that's. Oh, well, 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 uh, so most of the time, um, especially in like superhero movies, I talk about CGI because mm -hmm. it's it makes me cringe when I see bad. Mm -hmm. CGI is my least favorite thing. Um, th this movie does have a lot of like really, really well done CGI, mm -hmm. but also there were some moments where I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's bad. And um, if they, if they would have done the whole movie, yeah. like like there's a part there's parts where that's like them fighting all suited up, and you can tell that it's yeah. really intense CGI. Yeah. If that would have been the CGI throughout the film. Maybe you could have given it a little bit of leeway, yeah, like I they agree. do with the I DC agree. films. But at parts of it, when you see like the spaceships, it looks perfect. Yeah, it looks perfect. phenomenal. Perfect. And then you go to that, and you can see the flaws in it. And yeah. it just... Yeah, and it's in a Marvel putting. movie, it's jarring. I'm not going yeah. to see some movie by a third-rate company. No. I'm seeing a, a Marvel movie. Disney is backing this movie. And so you, it, it is a little weird. Whenever and that is that is a good criticism. I don't want anybody watching this to be like, okay, the CGI is bad, but still, no, it's yeah. gonna take you out of an action scene if you don't if it just looks like two rubber action go, figures smacking against each other. Go watch the Matrix <laughs> scene where in the second one. That is a one, good example where all the and Mr. Andersons <laughs> are dun, 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 not dun. Mr. Andersons, the Agent Smiths Agent are Smith's running scene. in there. It's it is a hundred percent fake. Yeah. It goes from a real shot to a completely CGI generated, yeah. and it's. However, one thing I think that, and this could lead us into our view, and, and should, but I think we will sandwich this between some really good shit and then some criticisms and then now the final great shit. Because this movie's called Black Panther, that's who you're going to see, and he has to be cool. He has to fit in this huge, like, at this point, like, 53 character roster of superheroes where all of them could be the same. 
all of them could be that cocky dude who thinks he's the best superhero and like he doesn't take no for an answer or anything like that. But Chadwick Boseman in this movie, T'Challa, mm-hmm. Black Panther, is different than all those other superheroes. Very humble. He's <laughs> Can you come up for reference? That's good. Um, he is very cool in this movie. He's very to see a guy who wants to be king, there's a good line, I think maybe like the point of this movie, it's hard for a good man to be a king. And you see it. He's just he wants to be, he has so much pride to be a good king and mm-hmm. to also be a good lover and to also be, like, have a good relationship with, like, his family members and his tribe and to do it all. The actor himself and the writing and the way that this movie evolves him makes me so damn excited. And we said it in Thor and we said it in Guardians 2 and anything like that. These movies are supposed to get you excited for the other one. Say what you will about them being solo movies and trying to make sure, like, hey, this is the cool one. They're setting up another movie. They really are. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And by no means is that a fault because, my God, do I want to see Black Panther interact with Spider-Man and interact with with them. And they gave us a taste of it in Civil Mm -hmm. War. Just a taste. There's a perfect moment where Hawkeye shoots his arrows and he says, we've never met before. My name's Clint. And he just goes, I don't care. And then they start fighting and you're like, oh, it's so badass. They, yeah, they they made me care about this character like they should have in a solo film Mm -hmm. and they opened up an entirely new world with the Wakanda. Yeah. And it's like a nation. Like, this guy is <laughs> Runs the king like, over a nation. Yeah, he's not he, some, like, cocky it's billionaire who yeah. so one building. Feels, it's, feels so this dude is a king. Weird. He is a ruler of an yeah. entire people. And he also is fighting alongside a guy who can climb on walls and a guy who has a metal suit. This is cool shit. That's, like, the... <laughs> it's like, really cool. I think one of the, kind of, like, the differences between, like, Ant-Man mm-hmm. or Captain America to Thor and Doctor Strange and this mm-hmm. one is that when you see Thor, Doctor Strange, or Black Panther, there's a whole world that comes along with it with that they them. have to introduce. <laughs> yeah. And not just Captain America, an American yeah. dude. Yeah. It's like all of this stuff that has to come with it. In this movie, they handled it incredibly. Very I cool. don't only care about Black Panther. I care about Wakanda. And I <laughs> want like, their civilization yeah. It's so weird every time like, someone would call him like king or talk about him like running Wakanda. Yeah. It feels so weird. It's like, what? You're a superhero. Why are you <laughs> running a country? King, dude? <laughs> yeah. Let's rate this bad boy. This movie's cool. This is a cool-ass Marvel movie, and it's a cool-ass superhero movie. Whether it was Marvel or not, whether it had that, that, that mouse logo on it or not, this is a cool-ass superhero movie. And in, the, in now the plethora of superhero movies in general that we're getting, but this movie has to stand alone inside a sea of other Marvel movies that are just like, okay, get to Infinity War. Get there. Get there. This movie is like, wait a second. Wait, wait a yeah. minute. We have a character to introduce. And boy, does it introduce him in a very, I'm going to use it again, but a cool-ass way. This is so cool. It definitely has its faults. I think it's so hard to make a completely unique superhero movie mm-hmm. because sometimes you got to hit those cliches and sometimes you do but with a movie as unique as this in some parts sometimes it does take me out of it when at the end it's like okay here's your boss battle here's your explosions and shit like that when the rest of the movie wasn't like that and it's a it's a good criticism because some of this movie is unique some of it's not and comparing it to other marvel movies i think it's up there but as as far as like winter soldier and thor ragnarok and civil war which is still mm-hmm. The holy grail of superhero movies. I don't care who you are. Civil War, that's what every movie should aspire to be. This movie's up there, but unfortunately not not, not as high up there. So I think I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 uh, uh, car nurses out of 10. I think I, think I was going to do it. <laughs> what did you just say? Car nurses? Like a, a, like a mechanic? The action's pretty good. The CGI is not too bad. I really enjoy the music. The comedy is placed pretty pretty well mm-hmm. uh, throughout the movie. And I also really appreciate how Black Panther, because I don't know how to say his name, um, he's he's kind of trying to follow like his his father's footsteps and, mm-hmm. and do good by his father. But then like he kind of sees what Michael B. Jordan is trying to do mm-hmm. and he finds like a, a happy medium. Mm-hmm. And I really, really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to give this movie Mm. 7.5 rhinos out of 10. Call that freezer.
Um, yeah, I like the... This movie doesn't end with the bad guy winning. It doesn't end with the good guy winning. It's not like completely one way or yeah. the other. This movie really finds a good way to, in more way than one, bring two sides of something together. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were things of this movie that I expected to be incredible that weren't as good as I wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. But then there were other things that I didn't even think about or care about that really came out and into play. Yeah. And for me, that was the agenda of this film. Mm -hmm. Like, at first I thought, I'll just have to avoid that or not really care about it, like, to get to the movie that I'm going to critique. But mm -hmm. this movie not only handled that, but handled, like, a moral code mm -hmm. that they're trying to give to you in an incredible way. And I don't think... I don't know, I haven't seen a lot of movies do it really well. Let alone a superhero movie. Exactly. <laughs> and so... The things that I don't like being, like, the sound design on parts of it just really fall apart. And, like, other little things that I think shouldn't have been the way that they were, it irks me, but I really like this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. Oh, I had uh, an 8 battle wounds out of 10. <laughs> nice. That'll be a gross, battle scars? Little, gross little picture down there. <laughs> um, <laughs> gross little picture. That... Well, you can it you can't yeah, pull it out and make it really fucking sick so everybody is just staring at it. <laughs> uh, anything, anything else, Alex? Um, no. Hit that subscribe button, like, leave a comment, tell us how <laughs> ridiculous we are. Suplex that! <laughs> if you didn't like this shit, <laughs> suplex that like button. What I want you to do is just unzip your pants, pull them down a little bit, and hit thrust that like button for me. <laughs> Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching, and because this video might be a little long, you might have forgotten what my name was, but do not worry, I'm going to remind you. It's Damien. I'm Kyle. I thought you were going to say, it's Kyle. I was going <laughs> to say, it's Alex. My name's Alex. <laughs> we are our Mind Center. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, as always. <laughs>